Twitter is completely exploding over this breaking news that we're going to be talking about. Cartoon Network Studios, as you know it, is gone thanks to David Zaslav over at Warner Brothers. It's consolidating into a single unit with Warner Brothers Animation, and this is huge news. It's also an ominous sign for the future of new original Cartoon Network animation. And this comes with a lot of other news that we have gotten with Warner Brothers uh, TV group laying off 82 staffers on Tuesday across its scripted, unscripted, and animation divisions. So we're getting all sorts of crazy news that is cu currently coming out about this. And the fact is that this is not really a surprise as we continue to see the shakeup happening with Warner Brothers. And a lot of it does have to do with the fact that they have gone completely woke. Their shows are continuing to die. Their popularity is sinking and is getting so bad that David Zaslav is like, all right, we're going to clean house and we're going to make some very big changes changes to get things back on track for Warner Brothers, which of course the Wokesters are losing their minds over. And there's a lot of people on Twitter that are freaking out over this news, acting like it's the, the apocalypse or something, that it's the end of the world. I'm, I'm, it's probably a good thing that this is happening to be honest. So Cartoon Network, as you know, is gone. Thanks to David Zaslav. Warner Brothers Television Group laid off 82 scripted, unscripted, and animation employees on Tuesday and will not fill 43 more vacant positions. The 125 positions represented 26% of the company's workforce across those units. However, the layoffs, which were gen generally expected, don't tell the whole story of what's going on at Warner Brothers Discovery's animation units. In fact, there were even an even more consequential announcement yesterday that fundamentally alters the the structure of Cartoon Network Studios going forward and will have a far-reaching impact on the projects that it produces. The company calls it part of its strategic alignment, realignment. Zaslav is just continuing to just go scorch earth on a lot of the ways that Warner Brothers has been structured for, for years now at this point, and it's pretty awesome to see, honestly. Like, I think that this is actually going to be a good thing overall for Warner Brothers. My exact reaction, like, I'm feeling very appalled, especially as an animation student. Independent animation is becoming more and more of a likable option for me, despite it being extremely difficult to do so as an individual. I just want to point out, you know, Epic Verse, uh, you know, it... I'm not going to say much, but we might have some animated stuff that we're working on. So just, you know, keep that in mind because I, I, I love animated stuff. And I think there's a lot of stuff that you can do with animation as a genre and everything else. And uh, there's just a lot that opens up. And that's something that I'm very, uh, very keen on exploring when it comes to what some of the stuff is that we're doing over at Epicverse. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. So we need to start harassing TV executives again. Never should have stopped. You mean canceled shows that weren't doing the numbers? Hmm. Get what go broke? That doesn't mean CN is gone. Maybe quality animation will come from this. Not propaganda, aim a messaging aiming for children. Exactly. Exactly. Which is exactly what cartoon uh, animation has kind of become over the past couple of years. Like, pretty much everything in animation is just horrible for kids now at this point. And it's such a sad thing to see. Because they, they see that as just an easy way to continue to, uh, you know, send crazy propaganda into the minds and uh, of children. And um, maybe this will actually be a good thing as more and more uh, of the woke stuff is starting to get uh, destroyed and cut out. Anyway, so as you can see, like, the the, the comments, the, the replies are just, everyone's just losing their minds over this news. This news truly is breaking Twitter right now, and it's absolutely hilarious to watch all of these wokesters completely melt down over this news. So with that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.